And let's start with the A-Team, Alex. So the A-Team. Now, I want you to uh, look over here. We have some of these fine foods laid out here. Now, right there so, is the A-Team sandwich. So right here is the A-Team sandwich. Now, so what a- are the ingredients of the A-Team sandwich? So the sandwich? A-Team sandwich. I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to pick one up. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what it is. So you've got okay. squishy white bread is kind of where yeah. your base. We've is, gone right? with Grandma Sycamore. So we've gone great. with the Grandma Sycamores, and you got Doritos in there. Okay. That are gonna be your main. I guess we'll call it protein. Uh-huh. And then, uh, <laughs> and then you've got a one sauce. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put the thing on here. I'm gonna put the A one. I love this camera view that we have. It's like Food Network. Camera. No, it totally is. It's like it's like the the bird's eye view of of M, of like a, a weird. Uh, blind emerald, like, mm-hmm. oh boy, guy got generous with the uh, with the A one on that one. Okay, but that's what you got to do because you want the because the bread's gonna soak up uh, a lot of that moisture. Is it? And then what you do is you get in there and then you're gonna want to squish, yeah, kind of in there a little bit. Now, and I'm now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna walk this over here. Okay. And For I want try it? and I want you to try it. Get next to that. I'm get right, next to that mic for the crunch. Right that's what I want to hear. Okay, so you've got uh, the squish of the bread, but also the crunchiness of the Dorito. Yeah. The redness of your face from being like weirded out by trying the A-Team sandwich. Yeah. But the A1 provides a lot of different flavors. I don't know if you know this, but there's actually anchovy paste in A1. Really? Yes. And so there's some fish in there. Heads up. <laughs> but I wanted to just – but A1 is nice because it's got a mix, a good mix of sandwiches or a good mix of uh, spices and things. So, yeah, there's well, Ethan. I'm going to tell you, Alex. How do you like it? You know, um, and people are going to kind of sneer like I'm just playing this up. Not half bad. <laughs> no, it's a, I, I'm telling you, there's a lot of flavor in there because the cheese – there's umami going on in all sorts of directions. Now, on the well, Facebook – Well, you know, a, look, you – Hey, this is just proving, you know, this is proving, this is proving the power of the A1 sub. And this one's the condiment sandwich yeah. right here. Now, now which I've, one is this? I've made I've made one up already for us, and so I'm going to give you a side view here, Ethan. Oh, that, what is that? Okay. Tell me, is that cheese? No. What is e- that? Ethan, cheese is a, too much of a delicacy. Is that here. mustard? So what we did was, you and I got the bread and the pickles, and yeah. then we decided we were just going to roll the dice on the condiments here at Broadcast House, okay? So what you've got there is a slice of pickle, uh-huh. and you've got also sweet relish. Okay. You've got mustard. Okay. And you've got, I can't believe it's not butter to kind of all bring it together. <laughs> so some butter on there too. <laughs> what does the butter do? Yeah, just like puts, Ethan, people from here. people from my dad's generation. Did they you put, try this? They put butter on everything. No, I haven't tried this all one right, yet. So we're both going to eat this one. You can let uh, let me pass this one over to you. The old grab, the old uh, across the console grab. Again, classic because you've got all the condiments there, including the butter. I can see the butter. All right, hey. you took a bite. How is it? Yeah, it works. I mean, salty is all get out, you know. Mm-hmm. But again, the kind of thing that your body craves besides electrolytes. Salt? <laughs> no, the saltiness is something that we look. We go, oh man, that salt is good. That's why Dorito doesn't want to do. This is a few presentations of pickle, yeah. and butter. Or and this iteration margarine. that we've made already too. This is a peanut butter and jelly ramen sandwich. So if you know, if you buy the ramen pack, you can actually split it in half, and it be, basically becomes two pieces of bread. Yeah, they're they're like it's like a sheet of ramen noodles folded against itself. Yeah, so you can see how effective that is with the jelly in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this one to you, Ethan, because uh, that's the kind of person that I am. Ooh. There you go. The engineers are gonna love the ramen crumbs on there. All right. So I'm gonna dive into this one first. You take a look at that one. This is peanut okay. butter jelly and ramen uh, for suspect, the bread. You know, I suspect this is gonna go okay. Because I like, well, super, well, hold on a second, though. Do you see how much ramen fell off, dropped off your chest right there? But see, that's always going to happen. Well, and that's, but that's part of the problem of mm. using ramen as kind of bread. You like know what? This. I don't hate that. Someone texted in a salt. Did you read the saltine and mustard sandwich? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You read that one? Pepperoni and barbecue sauce. Fry a peanut butter and jam sandwich grilled in a frying pan with butter. All right, I'm going to try see, this peanut butter sandwich made with two ramen things. But see, that's not desperate enough. Those things aren't desperate enough. Because we had Cheryl Worsley, our um, our news director, also rolled up and was like, you know what? It was crazy that I had to eat when I was a kid. And you're going to be crazy. This is going to sound crazy. But peanut butter, chocolate chips, on br- and chocolate chips on bread. And then you melt it in the microwave for a little bit. I was like, Cheryl, that's a Saturday night for me. <laughs> I would eat that. You basically just full of the other standard foods. right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove the... Here we go. So I've got the ha- okay. The every, handkerchief everyone over it. stand by. All right. So for the this reveal. is one that somebody suggested via Facebook, right? Or via was it Facebook? Via, via Facebook. Facebook. And I wanted to reveal it to everybody. 
because Here this is. this is something that this person has turned into a delicacy at their Super Bowl parties. Oh, Boom. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are they calling it? So it's called you remember Rocky and Bullwinkle, yeah. yes? These are called Bullwinkies. <laughs> Nothing to do with the show itself. <laughs> But everything to do with the unholiness of a Twinkie <laughs> and the ridiculousness wrapped, wrapped with bologna. Uh, so bologna with the Twinkie I'm wrapping. I'm looking at that, and it just, I don't know. You that see that how I served it attractive. on this rustic uh, piece of wood? Yeah. So uh, I, do, you notice that they, do you notice they kind of have like a pioneer wagon? They look like little covered wagons. Let's see, call that, them covered wagons saying. from Let's now on. Let's call them covered wagons. From, actually, I don't want to name any food a covered wagon. Can we not do that? So really, I want you, you to see this, this one presentation because we brought these guys in to try some of these things. Now yeah. you see this bread that has a bunch of uh, uh, powder on it. That is chocolate Nesquik. It's just the one, this is a runner-up suggestion that said, "Hey, yeah, we would just do Nesquik powder." Hold on, and, I'm going to come around and grab one and of those. bread. Ethan's going to eat that, and I'm going to pass out these what we're calling the covered wagon or the bullwinkies. It's a Twinkie wrapped with a classy piece. Of bologna. So bologna and Twinkies, we call them bullwinkies. And apparently this is a Super Bowl. Joel got one that's kind of big. <laughs> I love that. If whatever you pick up, you gotta eat the whole thing. There's not we're not messing around with it. So you guys start diving in here. Hand me one too. I gotta get I gotta get me some of this here. Uh all right. So I'm gonna do the I'm doing the uh this is the bread with the Randall, Nesquik. Randall already jumped in on the uh on this one, so uh <laughs> I love how the powder came out of his mouth. <laughs> Ethan exhaled like a massive amount of Nesquik. All right, Randall, you're close to Mike and you took a bite. What what's what are your initial thoughts on the Twinkie that has bologna around it? You know what? One of <laughs> it was interesting because this is probably the first time I've had bologna in like fifteen years. Mm. So it was like total flashback. <laughs> But the saltiness and the sweetness of the, mm. the Twinkie cream, you know, they actually work. It Whoa. works. It yes, works. Yes, I, did. I took a massive bite and uh, I kept it all in because I didn't want the, the chocolate powder to escape. But oh, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan's choking again. All right.